Hello, and welcome to Community Connections. My name is Addison Davis, Superintendent of Schools. In this episode of Community Connections, we'll talk about one of our social-emotional learning priorities, a sense of wellness. With us to talk about these activities that will take place in the month of October will be the coordinator of mental health. This is Mrs. Heather McDonald. Also, school counselor specialist, we have Erica Gilbert, along with Assistant Superintendent of Climate and Culture, Mr. Mike McCauley, known as the professor. Today, as we talk about activities in October, we really want to focus on creating a healthy lifestyle for our children. So, Ms. McDonald, you put so much in, uh, you have so much effort into creating a healthy environment for our, our students and also our employees as well. Talk about some of the activities that will take place in October in Clay County District Schools. Oh my goodness, we have so many things going on. So the very first week in October, we saw the um, National Walk and Bike to School Month, or day, sorry. And that really helped us launch into taking care of our bodies. The second week, we looked at National Book Month. We encouraged kids to read a new book. We're really wanting them to stay active in their minds. Um, the third week we are getting into, which is this week, it's National School Lunch Week. Ah. So we want to make sure that they are putting the right things into their bodies. Next week we have Red Ribbon Week. Yep. Red Ribbon Week is loaded with lots of things, focused primarily on drug prevention. Wednesday of next week is Unity Day. Unity yeah. Day is the primary day that we look at bully prevention. And then finally we wrap up with some self-care. We want to make sure that students are taking care of themselves emotionally and that we're taking care of our friends emotionally and checking in with one another. Awesome. So it sounds like an exciting week, a jam-packed uh, month, I would say, within, uh, within October, but really uh, absolutely needed within our community in this time. You know, Professor, you, you've done a lot of work in, you know, around mental health. Uh, these activities are, are, are truly needed, not only in Clay County, but throughout the state and throughout the nation. Your perspective of how these will, will truly impact our students in a positive manner? Yeah. So basically, if we all remember why we are a school system, and that is to teach so kids can learn and become whatever it is that they hope to, to be after high school, uh, we have to engage kids. Um, we recognize that priorities are things like literacy and numeracy and, 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 and just understanding who we are as a society, but in order to really capture kids and engage with them, we've, we've got to get that part together. Um, so all of the stuff that uh, Ms. Gilbert and Ms. McDonald and, and the rest of the team that, that lead this work is, is to connect kids to the adults as part of this process yeah, major so effect. that we have that, that deep engagement so that learning, real learning can take place. Uh, absolutely, and uh, you know, I, I appreciate the work that you've done. You've built a fantastic team. Ms. Gilbert, school counselors, they are truly, uh, truly an important factor within our schools every single day. Not only from looking at a uh, academic, uh, you know, historical trends and what the students are doing from the, to make sure they're on their, their cohort to graduate, but a lot of it from the mental health side. Can you speak to, you know, what do school counselors bring to the table so that every one of our viewers can understand how they play an active role and an instrumental role in our schools? Definitely. So you you know that uh, school counselors has grown from being a guidance counselor sure. to now a school counselor because I think it's all about a well-rounded sense of wellness it and is. what that means is academic wellness, uh, behavior, and for the. Um, and also in terms of mental wellness and you know as you all know you can't be mentally well or you can't be academically well if you have barriers in the way so what school counselors do is we, we work to remove those barriers so we work with teachers and parents and partners um, to make sure we remove those barriers so we have a huge role in that and we you know we do it every day and working hard but we definitely like to connect with as many people as we can so that we can so kids can be successful and well-rounded yeah well said and school counselors they they we, they're we are greatly appreciative for their hard work every single day and we know their job's not easy but we thank them so we launched a really cool initiative last week and that's our drop-in clinics and that's going to be district-wide we know that that's going to be district-wide in our secondary schools and we're going to we, we are phasing it in in a phased in process based on availability of clinicians and uh, so this is an opportunity for our students uh, to, to drop in to seek assistance whether it's through therapy or whether it's through mental health for a little quick drop in it could be 10 20 or 30 minutes just allow them to express themselves allow them to vent Miss McDonald you've been instrumental in setting this up can you speak to what these clinics will look like and what mm -hmm. the purpose of them are sure so right now we have drop-in clinics one day a week at most of our secondary schools those clinics are staffed by a licensed clinical 
um, mental health, a licensed mental health clinician, whether that's a social worker or um, mental health counselor. And they're primarily meant to be kind of triage. We know lots of our students, it's, it's stressful. It's right. stressful to be a yeah. student. They have so much pressure on them. And often they want to come talk to somebody who doesn't care what their grades are. Right. Yeah. Their parents care what their grades are. Their counselors care what their grades are. Their teachers, teachers care what their right. <laughs> grades are. Um, but the counselor, they don't care. And they're able to just listen to them and um, give them some stress coping skills and prevent them from letting that stress develop and maybe something more significant. Yeah, it sounds like a great opportunity for our learners. Uh, you know, Ms. McCauley, uh, this is, uh, you know, a great vision of you and your teams. And, uh, you know, for, from your side, uh, I, I know that you're working hard to make sure it's exposed to every one of our, to our schools. Right. But uh, anything you want to add for the overall impact? Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, the bottom line is understanding our kids better, who they are. Uh, I think uh, the majority of our teachers, hands down, know their kids and and appreciate who they are and recognize when there are things that get in the way as Ms. Gilbert talked about um, using things like the panorama student survey and just better understanding how they perceive themselves inside the classroom inside the learning environment um, our, our SEL our social emotional learning uh, program that that we're implementing district-wide the seven mindsets it's it's really not just for kids but for the adults in the equation and just creating a deeper sense of connection between the teacher and the student so that again we get better outcomes when it comes to what we want them to learn yeah, it, it, it makes a lot of sense and a lot of services we will provide you know we talk about the socio-emotional priorities in our school district one of the things that we truly wanted to do was to create a platform and a consistency throughout every one of our schools where we truly had a, a fixed social emotional priorities that we can have an impact on, the, on, the, on our children's lives every single day. The first one is to make certain that we have a sense of wellness, which we're speaking to today. We have a sense of connectedness and a sense of safety. And these are three major aspects that will help us along the way better assist our children. Um, you know, and this is so for anyone, you know, the SEL priorities, you know, what are we seeing in schools with the interaction with those? With the seven mindsets, I think it has <laughs> been explosive in a great way. I mean, the students are connecting with it, the, 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 the teachers, teachers are really uh, loving school it. Yeah. I, mean, I, I hear that all going to flash and excited. And schools have just dived into it and taken it as part, that they've made it a part of the whole school culture. And I think that truly is going to make a difference in uh, the students and uh, the whole school community. To the point that's been made earlier, kids are under a great deal of stress today, just not just because of academics, but everything outside sure. of academics. And anything that we can do to help bring some sense of wellness there, some, some relief of that, so, so that they can be a learner in a way that we all remember being, being learners. And, and so the, the kinds of things that we're bringing to the table, this is just the beginning. We'll learn as we go, we'll adapt, we'll bring new things in. We, we certainly want to expand our, our mental health kind of coverage. We want to uh, take better advantage of our community partnership schools that we have at three of our schools already. Um, so there's there's a lot that we can do, and and with our partnerships, I, I think honestly the sky's the limit. I, I agree, and uh, you know again, hats off to the, the three of you what you're doing for for Clay County and what you're doing for students and also our employees. We have a lot of kickoff stuff we're doing with SOS initiatives. We have the 30, 60, 90 day initiative where a newcomer comes to our school and every, every 30, 60, and 90 days we're checking in on them so they have a sense of connectedness to our schools. We have buddy benches in our elementary <laughs> schools. And, uh, you, know, I, I, you know, maybe I would sit on those buddy benches more than others, but, uh, <laughs> but you know, the good thing is that this, uh, our students know that if someone's sitting on that bench and they, they just really need a friend or someone to speak to and our students are gravitating and using it every single day. So, you know, thank you for what y'all do every single day uh, for, for Clay County. You know, our job is to make certain that, that it's just not, uh, mental health is just not a topic, but a systemic right. approach and a framework that really helps our students and helps our employees. And what we want to do is create the safest space possible to remove any barriers for our learners so they can be successful within Clay County. Mm -hmm. So, uh, again, thank you again. We, we really appreciate it. For those of y'all who are watching, we really want to make sure that we focus on the emotional, social, you know, uh, wellness of, of, of every one of our learners and every one of our employees. And, you know, we're in a beautiful spot today on a field because wellness <laughs> isn't just mental wellness, it's That's physical right. wellness as well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we got these young students that are, that are running, getting out of it, taking, you know, taking advantage of their opportunity and their time to, to care about themselves. And we hope you'll join along the way in this great month. So thank you for everything you do. Thanks for trusting us with your children every single day. And I look forward to seeing you in our next episode of Community Connections.